And what kind of space do you need to build a golf simulator, whether it's inside your house, in a room, or whether it's in an outbuilding? What are like the minimum dimensions that you need? So I'm here with Alex from Golf Swing Systems who specialize in creating and building golf simulator rooms for everybody. So if I ask you the question, Al, what is the optimal space? What are the optimal dimensions that you need to build a home golf simulator? Okay, so, so optimal, so we're not talking minimum here, we're talking about where any launch monitor can work. Um, you're gonna be comfortable, it's gonna be fun. Swing driver, yeah, swing every club driver, in your bag. Right and left handed. Yes. Um, optimal is actually this space here. Okay. okay. So you've got three meters height on the ceiling. That means even a lanky, lanky old sod like me can swing <laughs> a driver. Uh, you've got four and a half meters width which means either right or left-handers can hit from the central position, yep. which helps if you've got a radar and you've got it pointed down the middle of the room, you don't need to change a single thing for right or left-handers, That's it. Yeah. which is, is perfect for if you've got social golf coming around. And then distance, uh, optimal, you want minimum six meters. Okay, right. Now that's to accommodate radars. Yeah. That number can change if you use a camera. If you use a camera, you need about four and a half. Okay. Right? A lot of it kind of depends on what launch monitor you are yeah. going for. So there's two main types of launch monitor. You've got camera-based launch monitors that don't require a lot of depth in your room. But if you've got radar-based launch monitors, which some of the cheaper launch monitors are radar-based, you're going to need a minimum of six, uh, six meters in yes. length. Yeah. So um, that is the optimal space that you need. Um, you can go smaller, can't you? Absolutely, because yeah. My setup at home is a lot smaller than this here. I only have 2.4 meters of height. I have 2.5 meters of width and I have about five and a half meters of depth, of, yeah. of length depth. Yeah, so you can do it smaller, can't you? But yeah. like we were saying about camera, camera launch monitors. Camera versus radar, yeah. yeah. So what, what we say here is generally, if you can swing a golf club safely, we can build some kind of, launch, of golf simulator. Um, so with a camera, you only need really a yard in front, a yard behind. Now it's impossible to swing a golf club in that space, but if you've got you know a room that's four meters long, you could feasibly put a camera that's system it. in there. Um, and it, it's, it also depends on the golfer in there. So obviously with 2.4, you can swing probably up to what, four iron? Well, yeah, I, met, yeah. I forgot to mention, I, I can only swing a six iron as my longest iron, club in a 2.4 yeah. meters high space and yeah. 2.4 meters wide. One thing that is important to know, like it's a lot of people think that the height is just the amount that you need, but the width also determines yeah. like how many clubs you can swing in your bag. So for example, with my driver, let me just get this one here. So we've got what, four and a half meters here? Four and a half, yeah. So I'm comfortably from the middle of the room swinging a driver I'm not hitting that wall behind me um, but in my space at home the when I take driver. my thing when I take my back swing back the driver head is hitting the wall that's mm -hmm. on this side of me so it's not just the height that you need to worry about it's also the width as well yeah the other question is um, is having a bigger space actually better yes <laughs> <laughs> in what way yeah, okay so if I'm gonna elaborate on it a little bit um, if you have a bigger space, it gives us more freedom. Okay. Um, so in terms of creative design, you know, in terms of putting in slow motion video cameras, in terms of putting in media walls, mm. in terms of putting in multiple touch screens, if you have extra space, you can do extra stuff. And even if you have a relatively modest budget, but a large room, you don't have to whack in two 55 inch touch screens like we've got in here. You can still have a relatively standard golf simulator, but you can maybe have space for some some sofas yeah, or some seating it, yeah. or, some, or, or, or a sound system or yeah. whatever you want. If you've got the space for it, then we can do it. Um, and conversely, on the other side of it, if you get to the point where you, you really want a simulator, you've got the money for a simulator, but you just cannot find the space in your home, mm. um, which is the reality for a lot That's of people. That's where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've got kids, you've got loads of stuff, you've got, you know, your garage so, um, is, is, is garages tiny. Garages for storage yeah. rather than golf simulator. Yeah, so you've got all these kind of things and you can then build a building. So that's something we offer here at Golf Swing, uh, Swing Systems, is we build what we call garden rooms. Yeah, I've seen so, these. On yeah, website, so yeah. we've got a few different options. They range from our small one, which is the Moray Cabin, which is a single skin log cabin okay, that yeah. can go in your garden, similar to like a summer house that you'd build yeah, in, the, yeah, in, the, yeah. in, the, in the garden, but made specifically for a golf simulator. Right. Uh, and then you go the Turnbury. They're all named after golf courses. I've, I've yeah. seen them, yeah. So yeah. the Turnbury is basically this room transported and popped in your garden Amazing. in a foundation clad uh, building regs yeah, compliant yeah. building. So that's one where it's, it's actually an extension of your home, effectively. Great. It's not a summer house. You can't sort of pick it up and go away with it. It's yeah, foundation yeah. in. 
You've then got the Muirfield, which is a little bit bigger. That's about seven by five. Okay. And then you've got the Carnoustie, which is our sort of all singing, all dancing. You know, it's got frontage. It's got nine meters of depth. So yeah, you've, got, yeah. you've got space for like a hangout zone. Like it's, that's, that's, what I want. That, that's all the toys. Yeah, <laughs> that's all the toys. And that's where, that's where you can sort of put in anything you want. Yeah. And for reference, we've just built uh, Rick Shields' new studio. You yes. met, I saw you saw him at the open. You probably, I, I, I know Mitch, there'll be a picture of the on the screen here. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Rick Shields. Rick Shields, we built his new studio, um, and that's a very large space to accommodate all his camera gear. Yeah. So you can see, see that, that bigger is better mentality. It does ring true. You can build a better simulator in a bigger space, but if you've got that minimum space, you know that you can swing a club. Yeah. It doesn't mean you can't have a really good simulator. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all about building the perfect one for your space. Yeah, absolutely. So just to summarise, ideal dimensions for your home golf simulator. You're looking at six metres in length from the got screen it. to the back of the room. You're looking at three metres in high and four and a half metres in width. Got you can more. go smaller, but you're gonna compromise on how many golf clubs you can hit mm -hmm. in your home simulator. And if you can go bigger, I definitely recommend it because let's be honest, who doesn't want a golf simulator, bar area, sofa, get everybody around, that's where I'm at. That's, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the one. I mean, I mean we do, I do demo all over the country we go and see all sorts of people and you see you see them that look fantastic in tiny tiny rooms yeah but you know who doesn't want a bar in their golf it, mate, I mean, it's it. pretty cool one day yeah. mate one day yeah. fantastic. <laughs> fantastic i hope that clears everything up for you guys um, you can use the discount code handicap5 on golf swing systems it doesn't get you five percent off everything but if you're looking Most to build of the things in a simulator you'll be you'll be racking up fantastic a discount, yeah. yeah so you want to save a bit of cash use that use that discount code and uh, we'll see you in the next one Fantastic. Cheers, guys.